Okay, so how well do you actually understand percent? Well, if there's one math skill that you definitely must have, that is how to solve percent problems. And what we're going to be doing in this video is solving this problem right here. 7 is what percent of 25? And feel free to use a calculator if you want to see if you can figure this out. But if we take a look at the question, it is 7 is what percent of 25? So what exactly is percent? Now, most of you might say, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it's this thing right here. It's this symbol. Well, yes, that is percent or percentage. But what exactly is percent? What's the definition of percent? Matter of fact, if you know, go ahead and put uh, your definition in your own words into the comment section. But in a moment here, I'm going to give you kind of a formal different uh, definition of percent. And we're going to talk about various different ways that you could solve this problem here. So once you actually understand the definition of percent, then you can solve various per, uh, uh, percent problems in various ways. All right, so again, feel free to use a calculator, but the problem here that we want to answer is seven is what percent of 25? Okay, but I wanna get uh, started on all of this, but uh, before I do, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I've been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so I'm going to get to the full solution to this problem here. 7 is what percent of 25? But first, we're going to get into this question, and that is, what is percent? What is percent? Okay. Well, percent, the technical definition of percent is a number being compared by 100, okay? Uh, comparing a number to 100, kind of uh, an easier way to describe that, is a fraction where the denominator is 100, okay? So, for example, 7% is 7 over 100, okay? I'm comparing the number 7 to 100, or I'm writing this as a fraction 7 over 100, okay? So, when you're comparing a number to 100, i.e., you're going to uh, create a fraction where here's your number and the denominator is 100. That's percent. So 7%, again, by definition, we can write as the fraction 7 over 100. So that's the cool thing about percent is that you can write a, uh, a number as a percentage or you can write it as a fraction and you can also write it as a decimal. Okay. So there's um, you can um, have equivalencies between percent. Uh, uh, per, a percentage, a fraction, and a decimal. Again, you're got, and you're going to have to know how to go between those. Okay, but that is uh, the basic definition of percent. Now, that's important because um, we can actually solve percent problems by uh, using the actual definition of percent. I'll show you a little bit about that in a second. But another very useful way to think about percent is a part out of a whole. Okay, so for example, uh, seven would be the part, okay, right here, and the whole would be um, 100, right? So let's actually, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, just make something up here for one second. Let me erase this. It just kind of uh, just come to me. I'm like, you know what, this might be helpful. Here's a little pizza, right? And here is like one uh, part, okay? So what percent? Uh, this little slice right here is out of this pizza. Now, this is a terrible pizza, but you can kind of get the drift, right? So hopefully you're saying, well, that would be what? Well, that's 25% of the pizza, okay? But you're saying, well, how many, what's the parts and what's the whole? Well, there's four, okay? Uh, the, the total amount here is four, okay? Then this is one part out of the whole, okay? One part out of the whole is one-fourth. Now, we have one-fourth as a fraction, but we want percentage. So how do we go from one-fourth to 25%? Well, I'm going to talk about that in a second, okay? But anyways, a good way to think about uh, percent is uh, um, uh, the model of a part out of a whole, okay? You'll see that in a second. All right, now, in our particular problem here, we're uh, being asked, or the question is, 7 is what percent of 25? So what is the part and what is the whole? 
Okay, so we're we're asking again about uh, it's we're trying to define percent. What's the part and what's the whole? Well, 25 is the whole and seven is the part, right? So we're trying to determine uh, the percent. Okay, percent again, you can think of as a part of the whole, but what we're going to be doing is uh, comparing seven to 25. So seven is how much out of 25, okay? Now, when I take seven and divide it by 25, of course, you can do this in your calculator, you're going to get a decimal. Uh, so that you're, what we want is a percent, but all we're gonna get is a decimal, okay? So we're gonna have to go from a decimal to percent, all right? Okay, so I'm kind of you know taking a long explanation of percent, because I really want, you know, really want you to have different ways of thinking about percent, because you can have all different types of percent problems, and there's different ways to solve uh, percent problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually solve the problem. So seven is what percent, let's go back to the question again, seven is what percent of 25? Well, hopefully you said, okay, well, seven divided by 25, uh, that's 0.28, you, uh, of course, we can do this in our calculator. So this is the decimal 0.28, it's not the percent, okay? So how do you go from a decimal to a percent? Well, what you need to do is multiply by 100, okay? Now, anytime you multiply a uh, number by 100, what ends up happening is the decimal point, here's the decimal point, right, 0.28, scoots over two places to the right, okay? So seven divided by 25 is 0.28, and then, of course, I'm gonna multiply that by 100 to get my percent, okay, which, of course, will be 28%. So anytime you multiply by 100, all you're doing is moving uh, the decimal place over two places to the right, okay? So to go from a decimal, or I'll just write this this way, decimal to a percent, you just move the decimal point over two places to the right, which is the same thing as multiplying by 100. Okay, so that is the answer. Now let's go ahead and look at this problem in a couple of different ways, okay? All right, so here is our question, all right? So what percent is uh, seven out of 25, okay? Well, we know by definition, percent is uh, a number being compared to 100, right? So just as I showed you earlier, 7%, I can uh, write, at, write that as the fraction seven out of 100. So with that definition in mind, I can look at this fraction, seven out of 25. I'm like, boy, I wish my denominator was 100 because if I knew, if my denominator was uh, 100, my numerator would actually be the percent, right? So for example, uh, seven is what percent of 100 easy it's seven percent because my denominator is 100 but in this case my denominator is not 100 but that's not a problem because i could take this 25 and turn it into 100 so how can i take a 25 and turn it into 100 easy just multiply by four so 25 times four is 100 but if i multiply the denominator by four i now got to multiply the numerator by four so seven times four is what 28 okay so now I have a new fraction, 28, 28 over 100, which is the same thing as this fraction. If you had this fraction, I said, hey, reduce this fraction, you would reduce it down to here. But the cool thing about this fraction, the one that we have here, is that we have, we're comparing a number to 100. So the numerator here is the actual percent, okay? So seven uh, is what percent of 25? Well, let's uh, rewrite this fraction where the denominator is actually 100. And so we have 28, uh, over 100, okay, and the numerator is in fact the actual percent. Okay, so that's the second way. Now we can actually do this using algebra, okay? So this is what we call a pro uh, proportion in algebra, and it's pretty awesome, right? So again, this is dependent upon your uh, understanding of what percent is. So percent is comparing a number to 100. So uh, what we're going to do is we're looking for this number, which would be our numerator, right? So again, this example, 7% is seven over 100. So this is our numerator. In this case, we don't know what that percent is, right? Seven is what percent of 25? So we're gonna figure out what this numerator is and we're gonna compare it to uh, 100. So X over 100, if we can get this number, that's the actual percentage. And we're going to equate that to this fraction, seven over 25. This is the part out of the whole right here, part out of the whole, and then this would be the part out of the whole right here, 
Okay, so 7 over 25 is equal to what over 100? Okay, so this is what we call a proportion in algebra, and this is a pretty cool technique to solve, uh, to solve percent problems. So once you have a proportion, which is what we call, um, which is by definition two equal fractions, all we need to do is cross multiply just like this. So this would be 25 times x is what? 25x, right? Now, of course, you need to know some basic, basic algebra uh, to solve this problem, but hopefully this is no big deal. Now, 100 times 7 is what? Of course, that would be 700. All right, so how do you now solve uh, this basic equation, 25x is equal to 700? Easy. All we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 25. So 700 divided by 25 is 28. So x is 28. Now, what is x? Well, x was this numerator up here, right? So this is 28 over 100 is the same thing as 7 over 25. Now, a lot of you might be thinking to yourself, boy, this is a lot, Mr. U2 Math Man. You know, my brain is kind of smoking. Maybe you're kind of like, you know, like this. You're like this, like smoke coming out of your head or whatnot. You're like, listen, just show me one way to solve these percent problems, and then I'll just, that's good enough. Well, what I'm trying to do is to get you to fully comprehend uh, percent and not just memorize everything by what we call rote memorization, right? Just like, you know, okay, when I say percent problem, I'm going to do this. That's good, but you want to be better than good, right? You want to fully understand all these concepts because as you run into more interesting and challenging percent problems, and there are certainly more um uh, involved percent problems that require a little bit more algebra, you know, you want to understand the concepts fully, all right? So that's the whole point behind my videos. Now, if you need um, help with percent, basic mathematics, pre-algebra, algebra, or whatnot, I'm going to leave the links to um, some of my more popular courses in the description of this video. Also, I have a ton of additional uh, videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. So here's the deal, okay? If there's anything in math that you want to master and learn, it is percent, okay? It's so, so important. And hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.